and those who are peacemakers will plant seed of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness james chapter 3 verses 18. hello beautiful family warmest welcome back again to the lovey star channel thank you so much for coming back today's recipe is very very simple this is actually inspired by my late grandma in her kitchen you will always find her make some delicious and simple in titi which is popularly known out here as the fisherman stew but she will always say that it is not stew but sauce let's go ahead and make this delicacy it's so so good and easy to make So for our ingredients, of course, we have some fish. I chose the pompano fish or the pomfret frites fish. It is very, very delicate and has few bones. So it and I will also be recipe. adding some handful of tiger shrimps. And please go ahead and add whatever seafood that you prefer. Okay. And here I have some fresh tomatoes, ginger onions and peppers and some palm oil and these are all for seasoning i have some rosemary garlic all pepper seasoning salt and some fish seasoning as, so as well as you can see these are very few ingredients so let's get started the fish has been already cleaned and washed very well so i'm going to cut it into manageable sizes aside the pompano fish you can use the red snappers or mackerel mackerel is also really really good for this type of sauce it has few bones and very you know tender you get to enjoy the real you know fish okay so after cutting the fish i'll go ahead and then give it a bit of seasoning and including the shrimps as well and i'll just keep it in the the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes allow it to marinate and i will then go ahead with the other chores really this is very simple and easy again if you missed any of the ingredients please check down below in the description box i've listed everything down below with a right quantity as well and also i also left a bit of the fish because the prices of these fish especially recently it's crazy i'm going to save it for another recipe oh. <laughs> Now it's time for me to do some cuttings and choppings and all that i'm going to cut and chop <laughs> are the onions and the tomatoes and, and as always i'm going to take out the seeds from the tomatoes and cut off the skin instead because blending everything is going to make this cooking process a very long one and it has this acidity taste to it that i absolutely hate so that is the only way i love to enjoy the tomatoes especially the ones that we have here in europe okay so once that is done i'm going ahead to seed the peppers ginger garlic and the rosemary's and a little slight bit of the onions as well i'll add a little bit of water and just blend everything together once that is done our stew process is going to be lit right now <laughs> So let's begin with the stew process right now in our pot we're going to put in our palm oil just allow it to melt and heat up and then add our chopped onions So 
once the onions are being introduced you just allow that to fry for about three minutes and then introduce all the blendables allow that to also fry for about three minutes as well then introduce your chopped tomatoes that is also going to cook for an extra three minutes and you go ahead and introduce your seasoning and yes all the seasoning that we use were one tablespoon each that is what we introduced in the beginning of the video so if you've forgotten about it go back and watch or just check down below for all the listed ingredients okay this is also going to cook for about three to five minutes before we go ahead with the other task of this sauce or stew is has been cooked for about 10 minutes now i'm going to add a little bit of water about half cup of water and just cover it for about extra two minutes and then introduce our shrimp and the fish okay once that get in all that we have left is just 15 minutes and we should be done with this it is absolutely easy but yet super 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 tasty you're going to actually lick your fingers <laughs> you know these fishermen they don't have time to go through you know long cooking process this takes them just about 20 minutes and they're done and it's absolutely tasty as well so 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 good you have to be very very gentle with your fish also want to go ahead and add a little tiny bit of water to avoid any form of dryness or bareness of your sauce okay we don't want that so just go ahead and cover it 15 minutes later you are good to go trust me it's so quick and yet so so tasty the waiting time of this 15 minutes i'm going ahead to chop some okra very optional we do not enjoy this okra you can absolutely enjoy it on its own but to help my little girl also enjoy this dish i love to serve it with a bit of you know cooked okra just to make sure that it is easy for her to swallow okay you know okra always help us to make the swallow easy <laughs> so i'm going to season it with a little bit of all purpose seasoning and some water just you know you just don't want to overcook your okra as well so you go ahead and boil it for about you know five to six minutes it so after cooking done, our okay. okra or okra <laughs> we are now going ahead to make the swallow that is going to you know pair with this amazing sauce and today i went for a bar it is absolutely quick normally i will go for etto if etto is also very new to your ears it is prepared just the way we prepare banku but without the cassava dough and that really takes a long time for us to cook it so today i'm going with simple gari or eba just to make things really really quick and besides the condo prices are also really rising gary to the rescue <laughs> i like my eba to be very soft and you know stretchy at the same time so this is how i make it i put in my hot boiling water and then add the amount of gary that is going to be enough i go by eyeballs i cannot do measurements with this one so sorry about it and i also add some salt very key go ahead and drive it for extra three minutes making sure that everything is well uniformed and once that is done i'll go ahead and cover it for extra two to five minutes making sure that it has rested and it has also doubled in size because that is what gary does right <laughs> 
<laughs> just allow it to rest for five minutes come back again and drive it again and then go ahead and serve it it is really really easy to make a bar it is not difficult at all <laughs> there you have it our eba is ready and is served in this gorgeous calabash as my grandma will exactly make so so gorgeous very easy meal really need to give this a try fam it's absolutely incredible so now that our eba is done our okra is also cooked to perfection all that we have to do is just go and check on our fisherman sauce and let me tell you something fam this was smelling so good it smells just like the fresh the breeziness of the sea oh my goodness so 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 good you need to give this a try trust me you are going to lick your fingers and this is saucy as well it's not too much you might Thick. just as well sip it too it is just so so incredibly delicious you need to give this a try family because you are not going to lose anything at all you are definitely going to thank me later and that is how the thing goes <laughs> thank you so much family for watching right to the end i'm really really grateful for your company please be sure to give this video a like share to a few friends and family as well as we already know sharing is caring <laughs> And if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Lovia from Lovie Statch. My main goal here is to jail you up into making your own delicious meals right at the comfort of your home. So please be sure to subscribe. Oh my goodness. And join the family for amazing new recipes every week. Thank you so very much, family, for watching once again. And just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are. See you in my next one. Ha <laughs> ha